Hello everyone, welcome to techtoo.com. In this lecture, we will solve a problem which is verify if the given schedules are conflict equivalent. So we have been given two schedules S1 and S2 and we have to verify whether these two are conflict equivalent. Okay. So to start with, we should start by finding out what are conflicting operations. So here we have W1. Okay. So let's find out a transaction which is either write or read belonging belonging to some different transaction and working on same variable x. So here we will go for x, x, x. So here we have x. Yes, it belongs to different transaction and it is read. So yes, these two are conflicting operations now let's find out other so this is r2 this is now we have to find out some right operation so yes yes it is here but it belongs to same transaction okay two so it won't be conflicting so we don't have any other conflicting operation now let's go for s2 here we have right we need to find out read x so here we have read x okay Fine. Now let's find out other. So we don't have other conflicting operations. Okay. So we can clearly see that here right is followed following. I mean read is following right. So here also it should be first right then read. So this is first right then read. Right read. So the order of conflicting operation is same for both the schedules. So we will say that this is a conflict equivalent schedule right yes but wait a minute we don't have to be in hurry while answering because we just checked whether schedules are having conflicting operations in order or not right but we also need to be careful because there is a case that these are not schedule of two transactions because when you are talking about equivalent we have transaction t1 and t2 and we are trying to find out whether the schedules various schedules formed from these two transactions are equivalent or not right if you notice here we have r2z which is present here r2z we have w2y which is not present here right so this w2y is not present here this w2y is not present in the schedule s1 right similarly r1z is not present in schedule s1 it clearly means that these two schedules these two schedules are not made of same transactions okay so basically if the operations itself are not same okay in both the schedules we will we cannot say whether this is conflict equivalent okay so the simple answer is no i intentionally took this example to explain while solving the problem you need not to be in hurry and go for finding out conflicting just con conflicting operations okay you also make sure that these two schedules are made up of same transaction okay fine so i hope you understand it see you in the next lecture thanks for watching